popped it back over, but he hit it too high. So he thought I was going to pop it, like try to get it over so his head. So he jumped up like this, and I fucking wailed it <laughs> right in the nose. Yeah, buddy, that was, it's a good thing you didn't take out his eye. I'm kidding. you got to be careful. He ran the lip yesterday. I, didn't I hit you today in the right face? Right in the lip a couple days ago. Yeah. That's why I'm nervous to play badminton with you guys. I won't, like, I won't Howie me. is uh, a fucking maniac. Howie's on your own team, and that's when you have to worry about him. I exactly. Know, take you out from behind. Are you kidding me? I wasn't me. It's Janie. You have your finger in your butt and your No, I'm itching my side. Calm down, Janie. Calm down. Howie, you're such a fucking beefcake. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go see who's still up. Because my jobs tonight are get the information from Diane that she's up and secure votes with Erica and Danielle. No, I think we should all get up here because we don't want them fucking us on Wednesday with the votes. Yeah, that was cool. I want them to look us in the eye just like we had in the theater. Yeah, the make them promise us. The, the, the deal with like bringing individuals up here is, well, one, do we think we need to bring Danny up here? To get her vote, yeah. Because the moment we start bringing people into this little chamber we become the intimidators. We can't be like that. We can't do that. I'm so against that, guys. All right. Eventually, we're going to have to find out where everybody stands. Right now, we know they stand. Will Danny give us a vote, even though she's like, oh, depend you know, you put two people up. That's her philosophy. Put two people up, and then she'll decide. No, her philosophy is you're supposed to put two people up that you want to go home in the beginning. But the thing is, well, with this veto, there's none, this isn't the, this is the golden power right. veto. But we know that with Danny, Danny knows that with Will in the game, she is a bigger target. I mean, he's a bigger target. One because the guy wants to go home. You know what I mean? She thinks logically, strategically. Strategically, a real word. Mm -hmm. I like it better. It's strategic. It's strategic, but I like strategically or strategical. It's, it's the, I like. They sound way better. Strategical is not the real word, but strategically. Yeah, there's no. Word it's strategic. It's a strategic, a strategic call is not a oh, word. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Yeah, for fuck's sake, Howie. Fuck you big sake, cupcake, Howie. Janie. Oh, hi, Big Daddy. Big Daddy is not watching. Who's right. Big Daddy? No one. Survivor sucks. Flame them. Janie, tell Exactly. I was in there because I was. That would be so embarrassing if we yeah. did. I mean, seriously. I, I was. <laughs> Sovereign Six come out. Sovereign Four come out strong, and all of a sudden they lose the game because they well, attack their own. You guys, I was at, I was at, uh, across the room from you guys listening, going, "Well, I'm gonna evaluate it with them, but it's nothing. It's nothing I'm accepting." But the thing, the thing is, like. From it, yeah, it's one thing to like look at it from our point of view, and there's emotion involved, and we're like kind of like in the paranoia into. But the thing is, at the end of the day, when we're like, for someone who's just viewing, you're probably screaming at the TV saying, "No, don't do it, don't do it," because exactly. because here's the thing, there, which one's the bigger threat? We know for a fact that the other side was gunning for us for the first couple of weeks. Right. Then they realized they lost all footing. They realized that you know Will's leaving. They realized one of them could be going home, and they could be reduced down to one. Exactly. Obviously, they have nothing left. Exactly. Yeah. But now, when you have nothing left, you're, you're. Oh, I was going for the floaters now. Come on. Then, then you, you know, you put. Of course, this is their last chance at survival. Last guess. Mm -hmm. I like you, Janelle. There's something about that screen. Because, like, Janie's wearing a red thing, and it doesn't look red when you see her out there. She's wearing pink. Oh, she's wearing pink? It just looks lighter on the screen. Damn. Man, you couldn't go to bed before 4 o'clock in the morning to be to save my life. Dude, I was going to go to bed, like, 11.30, 12. Now it's going to be another 4 o'clock in the morning day. What time is it right now? I don't know. I think two? Is it before two? I'm going to ask. This is going to be my new hat for the year. Thanks, James. Hey, James? Yeah. <laughs> you, do you wear bandanas or no? No. This is a good hat on me. I like it. I went to a Hurricanes game last year after Big Brother on the sidelines. You like college football or no? Um... You like pro football? I like you know, the U. You don't watch it? 
I think college football is fun to watch. I, mean, I don't really get into sports too much to the point where like, I memorize statistics and who's playing who, but I can enjoy a good game. Like, you ever sit down on a Sunday and watch a pro football game? Yeah. 